What's good everyone, it's another day, another vlog, another day for you guys to sit and watch along. You're probably thinking why I'm still wearing these top, but it's been like over a week since the other one. Bars, and as if I actually rhyme flipping top with one. So I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna stop. Um, but what am I doing right now? Oh, I got, the package came today. If you see me, if you follow me on Snapchat, you already know that, like a week ago. About a week, I came and started rapping. Um, here's the My Protein package. I went and bought a few different things today, so I'll show you right now. Uh, I always school with the keys. Yeah, this breaks open. Until we show, man. Half my face getting chopped off. He ain't slicing me like Silo. Alright, there you go. Yeah, he's even looks bright too. Ooh, hugging the motherfucking sleeves. I swear, man, I need to get bigger soon, man. I can't wait to cut those so I can cut this flabby ass face. It feels like a balloon. I can't wait to hopefully not leave it. Hey, let me talk a few of the things I got. I bought three things. One being a Korea Pure a Creatine Monohydrate. I've never took Creatine before, but um, I want to just try it out and see how it is basically and see if I actually see a difference. I always say like I'm, I don't think I take as many pro, which is true and sometimes pre-workout but people keep talking about creatine for ages and I've always said I didn't want to take it probably because I want to see how far I can push my body without taking it and I, I do think I've done alright but I wouldn't mind trying it just so I can have from first hand experience what I think of it. So when people ask me about it I can just say I, I, don't, I can say something more. Uh, in detail then, I, I don't take it. I'd like to actually say, give my opinion on when I used it. Uh, this is a 1kg bag, which is too fair bigger than I actually thought. Like, because I only need like 5 grams of it each time. But, it was Black Friday. So Black Friday, obviously I thought, it's 50% off on all the supplement pills and stuff. I thought, let me just try it out, seeing as it's 50% off. Okay, what else did I buy? Some BCAAs. This is more, to be honest, for when I'm going to be cutting. Because I want to try and BC, BCAAs help like um, help you retain muscle mass and so that is more or less what I bought and the most important thing I bought was this which is focus bro and it is basically a mix of uh, glucosamine and I don't even say the second word I'm not even gonna say you read the fucking words on the screen and basically I suffer with a lot of hand problems I've got uh, this thing called RSI in my hands which is repetitive strain injury it's been happening since the last six months I went to the doctors try and get it try and get di diagnosed and get for help and the doctor was absolutely useless so I decided to try and take it to my own hands uh, the doctor didn't tell me anything he just said try and stop using your hands but I'm a website designer and I go gym and all this stuff so I thought I'd try switching my diet try and get more calcium in my diet get some things that help these uh, pills help with joint problems stuff like that and so this is probably the most important thing I want to use but they did say it could take up to like three months for you to see a notice of a difference when I was googling so hopefully this should help a little bit and I'm also going to buy some B2 and B12 uh, supplements because they also help with joints and kind of tendons and nerves and shit like that. Whoa! Okay. So yeah man, eventually I'm going to do like a pose update for you guys soon, like full body including my legs so you guys kind of like critique my physique, get some advice from you guys. Ugh. But overall I think, you know, I'm alright. There is the waist area, the belt area though. The fact that I carry on my belt area is... In, is immense man but yeah overall I feel like I'm getting bigger I think I need to work on my upper chest you know what I'm saying but overall I'm kind of alright I, I feel I feel like but anyway what I was coming to, come to say at least it's probably coming around 9 9.30 so I'm just trying to sneak in a gym session before she reaches probably gonna go hit back and I'll probably take you guys with you know already the room is always a mess it's a Friday so I ain't clean my bed or anything I'll fix that later on uh, but basically I'm back to the gym now. I'm going to give you a heads up on the taste. I got uh, the creatine. It was a uh, raspberry lemonade flavour I got. And it tasted um, okay. It's quite sweet. It's quite sweet. I'd give it like a 5.5 out of 10. But that's me. But yeah, I'm back to go to the gym. And I swear I found this in the deep of my wash. I haven't like wore this top in like 8-9 months. Need to get my money's worth. Oh, I am actually a dickhead. I actually left out the camera to come back for it, which is nuts. So yeah man, I'm gonna get to the gym eventually. Did I come back, dickhead, hat trips for dickhead, Patrick's a dickhead, chip months a sickhead. Whoa, Whoa, about numbers sold. No, you ain't got a million pay, so shut up and don't come back. Dickhead, damn you never made me cut my hair. Fuck I'm throwing it back. back. Dickhead. 
today, this day at Emporium, the tunes were going off, man. They had like a whole DMX section at the beginning, then that Dr. Dre was like, the Emporium gym normally has sick music, but this day in particular was just sick. So I thought I'd just say that out there because it was on point. Anyway, today's back day. Started off with the cable rolls, um, and it was good. I did like a warm up set of like, I don't remember the weight. Did a warm up set, did like about 12 reps of that. My working sets were basically a weight that I could do more or less 10 with uh, with like a bit of strain. So I did four sets of that, four sets of 10, purely because. When I do, I like doing certain exercises, I like doing higher reps with them because I feel like I feel it more after a while. Like six isn't, doesn't seem to be enough or eight doesn't seem to be enough. So I like going to like 10, 12-ish, but I went for 10 that time for that. Uh, this is a rat pulls. the first time you're doing rat pulls since like switching gyms. So it's been a while and I loved it. Definitely loved it. I did uh, four sets of 10 um, with the two plates. Uh, just try and get that lower back popping because I really need to work on my core because it needs one thing I need to strengthen um, for my squats as you'll see in the next vlog when I, I, I did leg day yesterday and I really need to like work on my, uh, my core to like really help me move the weight without having to use a belt. Here you can see me doing the barbell rows first time same again with the, uh, the rat pulls first time we're doing this since I switched gyms which has been like a month. I uh, did uh, four sets of that with the plate and a half either side uh, going for like around six reps but I feel like it's better when I lean forward less rather than like more parallel for me anyway. On screen I'm doing dumb, basically everything I'm also doing now yeah, is things I haven't done since the old gym. Like I haven't done dumbbell um, dumbbell roll since like way, like at least three months. So it was nice to switch up and do that. So basically I was more or less taking my exercises back to the roots, like some of the things I used to do which I, fat, which I quite liked. Because for the last how many weeks I've more or less been with a go to Emporium. Because I've got so many different exercises you can use, there's so much things that I've purposely just been trying to gently go through everything I've got and find out what new things I like. And I've, I still haven't even got through them all, there's still more. And this dude on screen was so annoying because he didn't need to stand this. Like I, it's, I feel like he almost stood there on purpose. I'm not sure if it's on the camera, but he did not need to be there. But anyway, for that reason, I decided to carry on with my last set and just do like a uh, burnout set. So I halved the weight and did the workout, did the exercise. But that, if you see that thing I'm gripping onto, the shape of it, it's the first time I'm using that one. Uh, since I think me and I think Sean introduced to it like about a year ago and it was quite good and I've used it for the first time in ages and it felt so good like it really does work your back like your lower middle back and I feel a lot of delt action in it as well so I'm definitely going to be using that when I do your lap pull downs from now on because it's pretty cool after this I moved on to doing another thing I haven't done since the old gym I swear down this is like a throwback video like a throwback, throwback workout sorry and as you can see here, I didn't go too too heavy on it. I think that's a, it's a 20, a 15 and a 5, so basically 220s. And all I did really was go for like 12 reps-ish, purely because I just felt like such a great kind of squeezing contraction with it. I didn't want to go heavier. But I'll see you in the next video. Fuck being on some chill shit. We go zero to 100 nigga real quick. Yo people, these Black Friday things are getting me so tempted to go and buy some shit. <laughs> Trust me, I got Gymshark open, got machine open. I don't know. Home and my back feels nice and swole. So seeing as my protein came today pretty swiftly as well, it came in a day. I'm gonna have the my protein protein today. It's chocolate fudge brownie. I love the chocolate fudge brownie. So I'm gonna knock that down me but I'm still hungry. And I've already ate all my food today. I've had my chicken wraps and everything. So I'm probably have to get some food later. But I got here before Lisa, that's a good thing. I was scared I was me having a cold waiting. So yeah, get out here. And I posted uh, on Instagram about an hour ago. Uh, so for you guys to answer and um, post a couple questions. So hopefully by the time she comes, we've got the questions ready and we'll kind of run through a few of them. Let's go, let's make catch in the face. In your face. Oh my God. <laughs> for what, your YouTube channel? Yeah. You're slacking out here. You know what it is, yeah? I feel like I need to re-brainstorm. I've got a new um. I it's recording now, you know. Oh, sorry. What's your top three favorite films? Uh, number one is Back to the Future Two, and number one. So I'm gonna count that as one though. So that's that. I'm not gonna call it. It's not the trilogy though, because I hate number three. So from number one spot is Back to the Future Two and One. The uh, second one is gonna be another franchise again, the Fast and Furious franchise. Striking out the one that Bauer was in, cause that was shit. Yeah. Number three, that was, that was um, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, that was that was shocking. I hated it. I still quite liked it. Is it because Bow was in it? Yeah, probably. Gas. <laughs> Good. 
Shit, I know. Jungle Book. Jungle Book? Yeah, when I was a kid, that oh was shit. Oh my god, nah, American Gangster, that's a film. Denzel? Yeah. Or Training Day. Training Day is up there as well. Basically, any Denzel movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the that, last time you remember that. I'm putting cases on all yeah. you more. And who's your favourite rapper? J. Cole is my favourite rapper in the industry. Yep. Cassidy is my underground one, but the one I probably see the most is, you should know it by now, is Drake. Who's hot, who's not? Tell me who flopped, to sold out of the store. I haven't, I haven't said the names, by the way. Is that I knew you clock that, you know. You <laughs> can't <laughs> say the names. <laughs> okay, the first one about the films was Nick Robertson, one, two, three. And then the one about the favorite rap artist was Niall77. This is Patrick Byrne, 5050. What was your most favorite and funniest memory of your teenage years? Um. You know what? It's probably when um, I, I saved Rizzo from getting hit by a car. Oh, wow. Like literally, it, albeit I was the one that put him in harm's way. Like I'm the one that actually slapped him and he <laughs> fell in the street. But I saved him. Basically, the story is that saying any name gonna help people up. Me and Rizzo were chilling with two girls. Uh, they're older than us. Like they're one year older than me and three years older than him. So basically, we're chilling with them near their house. And basically, we just playing around with John, joking, hanging out. And basically, that slapped me in the face like a little joke. And he went walks backwards. We didn't realize there was a car driving by. Oh Thank Jesus, I grabbed his shirt and pulled it in right before the car was about to hit him. So, yeah, and I don't know if it's because of the, the near death experience, but that ended up being one of our most happiest times at school. So, basically, like, <laughs> let me just break this down. Yeah. So, you nearly killed him and then you saved him from killing him. Yeah. But then the what? reward we got afterwards from the girls was pretty nice. I don't even want it. It wasn't, it wasn't anything, we were kids, so it wasn't anything graphic. You just got a, in school, I got a nice couple of handfuls. So <laughs> it was. I just read one of these questions and I've just realized. What is it? I don't want to read it. What did you say? <laughs> LJ Laurie says, How many holes do you get a week? <laughs> How many hoes do you get? First of all, I don't fuck with any hoes. Like, all the girls I deal with, or all the girls, all the, every girl I've ever dealt with that came out fucking wrong. Any girl I've dated, what I meant to say, has been an upstanding individual society, you know what I'm saying? And um, they're representable and carry themselves with nothing but dignity and respect. I'm gonna get brownie points for that. You must think I'm Chris Jones. I don't call girls hoes. The most I call a, a girl is a bitch, and that's if she's being a bitch. And I'll call a guy a bitch too, like, yeah, he's like I never called Lisa a bitch because she never bitchy. Yeah, never called me a bitch. She keeps his straight trill, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's jokes, man. How many holes? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, deal with that. Oh, right. Another cover. It's that dude again, William Singh. Check out all his covers, man. They are so sick. Like he's the one that sings, the one that I used to play for you guys. Hotline Bling remix. He's got bear covers, I'm just sick. I went for him yesterday, I'm down on about eight. But anyway, I'm about to go to gym now. Um, it technically should be leg day, but I think I'll do that tomorrow because I think tonight I might be going out and I don't really want to have fucking jelly legs. Uh, so today, I think the only thing left I've got to do is arms. My boy is going there, Mike's doing chest again, so I may do a little bit of chest on my product. My main thing today is to do arms and abs. Get his core right, man. I need to get like these abs popping for when I'm cutting. What's good, people? So, yeah. What's good, people? You alright? You good? Cool. Anyway, I'm on the way to gym, as I said, arm day uh, and abs. But I think I may folk like put a big emphasis on abs today. Because normally I do one ab exercise or two ab exercise at the end of every single workout. Uh, but I think today, purely because I've done my full split like almost two times over, like I can't tell you the last time I haven't been to the gym. Like I've been going like every single day for. I'm probably gonna say it's been like eight, eight, nine days. And so yeah, everywhere to me is kind of sore. The only thing that's slightly not sore is my core and my biceps. My triceps are sore, kind of worked them a little bit the um, day before yesterday. Every day is arm day, bro. Just joking. Uh, but it is arm day today and basically, I think I said, yes I did, I said to you on the last vlog that I wanted to move up my close grip bench. I think last time I did 80 kg, I was doing the five reps or six reps of it. And this time anyway, I moved up to 90 kg, no 85 kg, sorry. And um, I did it alright, I did a 5x5 five five on it and I filmed three of the sets purely so you can um, kind of see how I'm doing the reps. So I filmed the first set which is this one right now and then I, after this one I filmed the um, the fourth and fifth one uh, just so it's further down the line. I just kind of see, so I can more or less see for myself whether I could technically move it up to 
maybe a little bit heavier or you know what I mean see how the form's looking basically it's always good to like you haven't got someone with you to kind of like more or less see how your form's looking how you're moving the weight and then in a few weeks time I can gradually kind of you know see if I can um, improve it any better before moving the weight up or whatever so this was the fourth set uh, the bar path needs to be a bit better I think I corrected it in the last uh, few reps see I'm gonna start to be able to push up a lot better which is very 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 good and then after this one move on to the fifth one but yeah I'm really happy with my progress on the uh, close grip bench as not long ago I was doing like 60 65 uh, for like the, the four or five reps so it's decent and now you can see me taking off the jacket because you know it's about that time I let the guns out <laughs> and uh, keep, get to graft him and um, yeah to be honest I did the full 5x5 five five. I'd say fairly fairly good it was only the last um this rep this set sorry where it was kind of a struggle so i may even potentially move up a little bit heavier like but like an extra 5kg overall but um i guess i'll wait and see but for at least two weeks i'll at least keep it this way i don't want to like run before i can fly you know what i mean i don't want to i don't mind doing this for a while and just see how the uh the form improves you see it gets a bit hard because it's a struggle but i do wake make it but my elbows there see a bit shaky so once that kind of goes, then I'll choose to move up, which I think, to be honest, at this rate, it'll probably be a couple of weeks. And there's the frame looking all right, little, little, little beast action, <laughs> well, mini beast. And he's my boy Mike. Obviously, he came through to the gym, but he, he was doing chest day, so I just filmed a little bit of his little set, you know what I mean? Give him a little shout out. And um, after that, I moved on to doing. I think I showed him the last vlog as well, the triceps. I wanted to like um, do the single armed one. I wanted to get like a shorter pull down rope, which I did. This one allowed me to like put my arms up a couple couple inches heavier higher so I could get more range of motion on it which I was happy with and this is basically one of the second to last thing I did on the workout on this exercise so um, more or less you can see like the strain and I definitely do after doing this I normally do both hands as well like I do uh, four sets of each hand and then I switch over and do like double handed and obviously you guys know I always do abs I only filmed um, I filmed this again basically uh, I didn't film the hanging leg raise because there was nowhere for me to put the camera really um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm basically the way I'm working my core, my obliques here. They better show some damn results when I start cutting, because I've been grafting this damn exercise, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. But I'll see you in the next vlog, people. Keep watching. Yeah. I'm on my way to meet the homie now, because I ain't seen him in a minute now that we switched gyms. So get myself a little bit of food. Uh, I have eight of my food for the week. Um, so let me leave us some fake Nando's and chill for a bit before I gotta go out later. There's the old gym, Bon Pure Gym, Bonham. Traffic is pissing me off. Like, oh, well, another cover. The damn pole. Oh, I swear to God, I wish I could sing. If I could sing, trust me. I've been seeing so many chicks like on the low at Drake shit. <laughs> so, the YouTube ain't been in a second. You still go gym. Does she though? Thursday's days like what? Four days ago? I can't believe you. Head back, shoulders. Back and shoulders. And a bit of cardio. A little. I thought you cut in. Who do you think you are? <laughs> fucking like celebrity in that fucking big ass hood trying to cover your face. You ain't shit. Who's hot? Who's not? Tell me who rock? Who sell out the store? You tell me who flopped? Who caught the new job? Put you who's got what? He wants to make him out. I was doing numbers like his pop. Same old pimp. Drake, you know he nothing changed, but these funny style niggas we don't play really the game. And us ass so blessings with my grandmother great. Then it's back to relate. <laughs> Open the mail, staying at the check. He don't to make it throw man. It's gross. So I net. I got bars, you know. Fuck, I'm ghost. I'm the Drake. Ghost fire for Drake. I'm really. What's his name? Quentin Miller. I was a real guy that gave him the bars for me, Mill. Trust me. Last night, they put up on my nigga at the light like, uh, nice watch, run it. Hands in the air, 